I'ma buy a mansion for my mama When I finally make it Take on my vacations to Bahamas Always celebrating Ever since my birthday was the bomb And now I'm detonating Your scissors, a tape measure, two pair of pants, your bandanas, and a pen you need two pair of pants. You need the, your extra pants that you are going to wear. And I just got these, honestly, from um, Goodwill. It probably was like $2, if that. Um, take this band part off. And that's going to be the bottom of my bralette. Coming across a belt loop there. I'm just cut the belt loop like right at the um like if you have I have a, a seam ripper but I'm not about to get up and get it. So just cut it off right at the seam. Like literally. That's what I did. Because I want to keep that on there. I'll just get some E600, 6000, however many it is. I'll just glue that back down. So I'm just going to keep cutting out the whole band. Even though I'm not going to use the whole band, I'm going to just go ahead and cut the whole thing out. So after you're done, this is what it should look like. I kind of got carried away snipping and cut one off, but that's okay. That's okay. It's, it's cut perfectly to where it could be glued down. So it's, it's not cut too short. And so what I'm going to do with this is measure my waist. And we're going to keep this because this is how we are going to button the bag. You don't want it too tight because you don't want to cause any bulging or anything like that. Around your back area and crap like that. You want it to fall right under your titty. It's not really hard for me because I don't have any boots. But I'm literally just placing it right, right here. Like, this where my titties sit, this is where I'm placing. This where my bra leg on in, right under that. So, boom. I'm just gonna mark. Of where I need to cut. And make sure you are measuring to cut the side with the hole in it because you want to keep this side intact. So if you can see, this kind of, I marked where this will go. So my for my new hole. So basically, boom, and then I'm going to cut this part off. That will be the end. So that's just what I'm going to do. You want to do a nice, clean, straight cut.
boom. We're going to keep that edge nice and neat. And I'm actually going to burn this so, that, so it don't fray. And I'm going to go ahead and make a small insertion in between that point. You don't want to make the hole that big. Because, as you can see, you want to just make it about the same size as that. So, that's what I'm going to do. But I'm just going to start off really, really small. You don't want to start off with too big of a hole. And then it's, like, way too big. You don't want to do that. So, just start with a small incision. I'm just cutting it, going around just in a small little circle. This is how big my circle is so far. And I'm just stretching it out with this. I'm not even going to cut anymore. Boom. And it fits right in here. On to the triangles. I'm going to come back to the um what's the name so don't worry about that i'm doing those last so now what i'm going to do is measure start at your collarbone here measure from there to under your breast. Stop at about a eight and a half. Yeah. So your triangle needs to be eight and a half inches long. And go under your titty. However much titty you want it covered up, and I'm gonna do five inches. So my triangle needs to be eight and a half inches long and five inches wide at the bottom. And I'm just going to start out with my five inches here. and a half inches upward. It was long. My titty is not yet. So at the center, I'm going to say about here. But I really do believe that's going to be too long. I don't feel like my titty is that long, boy. But let me see. I can possibly make some adjustments. Because I, I ain't feeling it at all. I don't think my titty is that long. And if you're worried about it being in a straight line or whatever, you can connect the dye and make, you know, draw the triangle out then trace it and whatnot but i don't feel like all that mm. Mm, it look about right so i'm just placing it i got some pins but i don't feel like going to get them you can pin it down if you want to
so boom. So I have my other triangle just laid up here. And I am going to duplicate it. to measure around my neck, collarbone, right here, from here, from this bone around to this bone. So from here to here. Cut this, the bottom part off, just cause it's big, and I think it'll hold a lot better around my neck versus just a piece of the pants leg or something so this is what i am going to use as my halter part of my top so i have nice clean cut and i'm just going to snip it in half right at the part where it is sewn in half, I'm just snip it right there. Okay, so after you have your top kind of pinned down. So basically, let me get a little closer. Let me get a little personal. This is kind of what she is giving right now. I kind of have started seeing if I wanted to have some praying on there, and I think I do. So I'm just going to... Um, for the size, we you just I just put the bottom of the triangles down up in there, and then I just paint them to my liking, and then I took the top strap piece and I just painted it there, and I'm trying to see if it fit. It's gonna hold everything together. I literally just stabbed myself, but that's going to be that. So I'm going to go ahead. If you have E6000 glue, you can go ahead and um just glue it and let it dry and it should definitely hold but my glue is in my mom's house so this could be a soulless top a soulless project but i'm just gonna go ahead and sew right here a line across there and then i'm just gonna sew a line across there and one across here and i'll be back Okay, so for my pants, I'm just going to kind of mark, mark them off. So my pockets. Here. 
so boom this gonna be one patch and you just get creative however you wanna however you feel you know your pants so Okay, so now I'm just go and cut all of my markings out, my outlines, and make sure you only cut in through the front pants, not the back part, just just the front. So please be careful and mindful of that. So I'm gonna cut this out and I'll be back once everything is cut out. So I have everything cut out. And basically, I just kind of frayed the edges a little bit and then 
place it under there and just glue it around the edges and let it dry so i'm just gonna go through and like randomly place these throughout my cutouts and glue it down and yeah that's what i'm about to do and i'll come back when i have all of it done i mean after that we're basically done so yeah